My name is Brianne Nord Stewart, and I wrote, directed, edited, and produced Trolls. Billy, you know they're not actually cleaning their room. Then what are they doing? It. Uh, the inspiration from Trolls came from a funny story that someone had told me about an interaction between um, a kid and his aunt. And I had made two previous awkward comedies about sex, so Trolls was the natural step. So the actors came, one of them came directly from Sierra Pitkin, who is the other star in the film. She was in the film Juno, and her agents contacted me after I sent out the casting call and said, we have one of the actresses from Juno, she would like to audition for your film. And she was a knockout actress, you know, she was nine. And it was through her that I actually was put in touch with Dawson Dunbar because they were in acting class together. At the time, he was only seven years old. Um, and he's just, he's very professional about, you know, always maintaining his mark and like keeping the other kids um, cohesive and like coming back and being ready to shoot so that when all the other crew members and stuff that are running around, um, I'll come back and they're all ready to go. Guys have wheels and girls have front bottoms. Front bottoms? Yeah. It's like a butt. I grew up in Edmonton, Alberta, and I went to a visual and performing arts high school where I was lucky enough to take classes in um, video. I was definitely inspired to go to film school by some people that I went to high school with who went on to film school before I graduated, and that sort of allowed me to see that being a filmmaker was actually something that I could do. I went to film school in Australia for a year and just tried to meet as many people as possible because I didn't want to get out of school feeling like, okay, now I'm a filmmaker, like now it's time to start my career. I definitely was in school going, my career starts now. I definitely felt like I had something to say and I felt like I had a unique vision to tell that story and I really wanted to share the way that I experience things with other people. What you doing? Nothing. What does it look like? As I sort of got in the habit and in the rhythm of writing, um, more and more ideas and more and more stories just started to come my way or I would pick up on them and really want to flesh out those characters. Um, so writing is definitely now one of my passions and I would consider myself a writer-director, not just a director. I think there comes a time at every every point in the filmmaking process, especially with comedy, where you've put your film together and you realize that it's not funny. And it doesn't mean that it can't be funny, it just means that the way that it is um, at that present time is is not doing it, it's not working. Um, and with Trolls, I had um, a couple people in the editing room with me who said, you know, this scene is way too long, or you know, you don't need this many, these many shots, they're slowing down the film, and at one point my cut was 10 minutes or something, and the film now is less than seven minutes. And that made really made a big, difference just to pulling the film together and making it tighter. So it wasn't that anybody uh, cut me down, it was definitely constructive feedback that people saw the potential in the film and really wanted me to push myself and let go of those things that didn't have to be there so that in the end it would be a much stronger film. And I know I'm losing so bad because I've never seen a boy's penis! So I'm winning! Trolls is definitely the most famous film that I have done, and I say famous um, very humbly. <laughs> um, it is my favorite in that I think it's absolutely ridiculous every time I watch it in that I can't believe that I made children say boner and front bottom and oral sex when they were like seven years old. Um, so that's nice for me to come back to see it and to really enjoy watching it. Um, so yeah, I guess I would say that Trolls is my favorite film so far. It's always wonderful to screen a film back at home, especially where you made the film and where all your cast and crew come from. Um, it's a great opportunity to see them again and, and for like the actors like Dawson Dunbar to be nominated. Um, it's just a really great opportunity to sort of get that hometown advantage and come together and just support everybody's work. I will definitely submit to the Vancouver Short Film Festival again, especially because I do live in Vancouver. Um, I've actually got a short film called The Provider, which was at the Vancouver International Film Festival this past year and stars local venerable actress Gabrielle Rose. So we'll definitely be submitting and hopefully we might get another award. Well, Trolls has now screened at over 70 film festivals. It could be more than that. I've kind of lost track. 
it's been wildly successful.